The KF-21 Boramae fighter jet made by South Korea's KAI finally successfully completed its first flight test on Tuesday, July 19, 2022. This prototype jet with tail number 001 took off from the runway of the third flight training wing of the South Korean Air Force, RO KAF, based near KAI headquarters in Seishin, South Gyeongsang. Boramae airborne smoothly at around 3.40 p.m. and landed safely at 16.13 local time. The KF-21 test program will involve six flying prototypes, two of which are tandem models required by the Indonesian Air Force, which is one of the prospective users. The series of tests for the KF-21 will continue until the certification is targeted for completion in 2026 and the manufacturing process will continue. At least 40 aircraft are planned to be delivered first by 2028 and another 80 by 2032 for the RO KAF. The KF-21 in South Korea will replace RO KAF's aging fleet of F-4DE Phantom II and F-5E F Tiger II. Indonesia, which is involved as a partner, is expected to procure around 50 aircraft as per the initial agreement, which is planned to be produced in Bandung by PTDI. If the KF-21 procurement process for the Indonesian Air Force goes smoothly, the 4.5-gen fighter jets can replace one of the Hawk 200 fleets, which in 2026 will enter the age of 30. The KF-21 took off, equipped with four Meteor air-to-air -air missiles, but without other main equipment such as an infrared search and track system. In addition, it traveled at a speed of about 400 km per hour, or 215 knots, rather than reaching supersonic speeds. Currently, there are six KF-21 prototypes and they plan to conduct a combined 2,000 sorties or dispatches over Korea's western and southern territorial waters through 2026 before undergoing a one-year tentative combat suitability test this year, with a view to achieving its final combat suitability in 2026 key steps in the phase development process, according to KAI. Ahead of the flight test, KAI successfully completed a ground test earlier this month, aimed at checking the aircraft's basic integrity and operability.